Hi everyone, I'm Shelda and you're tuned into Faith Field Teaching. Today, I'm in my classroom for the second day, so this is day two. And this is the actual day of my setup. So yesterday, if you didn't go ahead and check out the vlog from yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and link it so you can check it out. But yesterday, I basically packed up a lot of my things, which are, which is, where is it? Oh, which is down here. These are all of my things down here because the, our principal told us that we needed to make sure we clear out all of our stuff, all of our personal items, make sure it's as clear so that whenever we do reopen to students, well, whenever our, the building and the classrooms get reopened to students, that the custodial staff is able to clean all the areas. So um, we had to make sure that everything was as clear as possible. So I did that yesterday, got all of my stuff together all my personal items and so now today I'm going to set up my classroom I'm not sure about the layout of my desks yet but I'm just going to put my calendar back up I'm going to um, probably try to prop my anchor charts over here I'll do my word wall and I'm going to clear out this area right here. These are a lot of books and things like that and tissues. I'm going to try to stuff it in that cabinet back there behind me. Um, I am, I do not plan on redoing my decorations. I'm actually going to just leave the things that I had last year. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it up last year because I do want to focus on just the online learning. I'm not sure. You know, there's a lot of platforms that we have to learn about and you know, PDs are coming up. So I'm gonna be giving a lot of information. So I wanted to focus more of my energy there and not really on my classroom um, decorations. But I'm gonna put, you know, materials that I would typically use on a day-to-day -day basis um, that I was using in the classroom. And then the rest, like, Whenever the kids get here, we're just going to decorate. We're going to decorate the rest of our classroom. I usually decorate it with their work. I decorate it with their input. So that is what I'm probably going to focus my energy on today. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I have two tiles that are different, two color tiles that are different. And I didn't film this last year, but this AC unit I got a new AC unit, brand new from last year, because my AC unit from years prior was very, very old. It was blowing out warm, humid air. Now it's blowing out cool air and it's a little bit quieter. And all the tiles down here when they installed the unit was all torn up and broken apart. And they finally, finally, finally put in the new tile. That, that thing right there, I don't know what it is, but it needs to be like replaced ASAP. But yeah, I was also wanting to set up my classroom using music because that's what I typically do when I set up my classroom. I like playing music, I like just jamming to my favorite songs, but the sound isn't working. I was trying my best to try to get the sound working, but it was not working. So I'm going to be setting up my classroom in silence just with the sound of the AC. I don't want to use my phone because for some reason the battery, I forgot my charger and the battery dies quickly. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. change of plans so I just spoke with some other teachers and they are actually going to be leaving some of their stuff in the classroom so I just placed all my stuff in my in the bins and I am going to just push it along the walls or either along my walls over here um, so I laid out all my books over there 
I'm gonna move these bins right here and I am just going to push these bins along the wall so I won't have to keep on lugging it up and down the stairs. I have three carpets that I need to take home and they are outside airing out and I'm going to move my desk around. It's not going to stay like that but I just like having the feel of a classroom so I'm not going to leave these desks like this. So yeah, I'm almost finished. done for the day I am not sure how I should set up my desk how I should set up my room so all I did was organize and made sure my bulletin boards were looked organized as well so as you can see the ch I moved the chairs all the chairs on this side I organized that bulletin board and this space right here also, I cleaned up these boards. I put all of my teacher things over here. Um, they're actually getting rid of my kidney table, which is why it's pushed towards the door. Um, I cleared out this space back here because I may have to stack, restack my, um, my teacher items. These things that I have right here, I might have to restack them up on top of these shelves. <laughs> And all of my chairs, I mean all of the desks that I have are back here and the file cabinet is trapped over there. So when I get more clear information, let's focus, focus, okay. So when I get more information that's clearer, I may have to do a day three. So for right now, this is where I left off of my classroom. As you can see, it's not fully complete. It's not complete at all. But this is how, this is what it is, you know, in these times. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.